And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body. Donald Trump is the new pandemic. Injection inside or... Or. Over the years, Trump has proven time and time again he's always been on the short side of smart. But recently, his cognitive decline has revealed how bad it's regressed. I'm President sorry, Trump. guys. You said last night, President Trump, you said last night you would essentially let Robert F. Kennedy Jr. do whatever he wants with health care. What well, actual role? have a big role in health care. HHS, He's maybe? Fact, we, just, we just left. In fact, I think he might be here. He's right behind He's right, he right here. You're comfortable, he? With his Will views he on, you're comfortable with his views on vaccines, Mr. President? We'll be talking about a lot of things, but he's going to have a big role in health care, a very big role. Is it HHS, he it, maybe? He knows it better than anybody. Uh, he's got some views that I happen to agree with very strongly and I have for a long time. Putting RFK Jr. in charge of health care is like putting Don Jr. in charge of education. But it fits perfectly with Trump's total destruction of anything that helps poor Americans. And RFK Jr. doesn't believe in vaccines. That's right, any vaccines. You know, like the ones that keep your kids from the mumps, measles, and I don't know, polio. RFK is damaged goods as his positions on health sound like Roseanne singing the national anthem. And of course, there might be another reason why RFK is nuts. I just ask you guys one more thing. The, the New York Times, and this has nothing to do with, well, it has to do with the presidential election, has just come out with this extraordinary, uh, bizarre uh, article on RFK. And they're reporting that doctors, in a deposition, that RFK said doctors found a worm in his brain that had eaten part of his brain and then died there. <laughs> I mean, you laugh, but I mean, what Jason. what might this mean? I mean, what might this mean to, to an election to, to hearing that he said this it, in it a deposition? It probably means, and one of the things that I tell my clients all the time is try not to go into depositions high. Putting this guy in a position to help the over 50% of Americans who can't afford health care is an obscenity. But for a guy who fried his brains on drugs and worms to be at the tip of the spear of health care in the U.S., well, it has the potential for a tremendous loss of care and loss of life for Americans who, through Obamacare, or as some would call it, the Affordable Care Act, could finally see a doctor and get help even if they had a pre-existing condition. But of course, even Obama's Affordable Care Act, which the Supreme Court voted 6-3 to three to uphold, with Justice Roberts writing the majority opinion, is under fire simply because it came under the Obama administration. And the f***ing dumbass hillbillies who opposed it? Uh, we're talking about health care today, and which plan do you support? Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act? The Affordable Care Act. And what is it about Obamacare that you do not like? Um, I just think that there's a lot of holes in it and it needs to be revamped. I think it's, and you think it hasn't the affordable, been thought out. You think the Affordable Care Act is a better plan than Obamacare? Better, but I'm not happy with that either. What do you agree with, Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act? Uh, I'm more of sure towards the Affordable Care Act, um, but I'm, I'm also there, very sympathetic for people that don't have the ability to uh, have proper medical insurance. So the Affordable Health Care Act is still a better option than yes. Obamacare? Yes. And why do you not agree with the Affordable Care Act? Well, I think it's, it, it's more, it's, it's not really available for, for all. So the Affordable Care Act is more affordable than Obamacare? It, just the name says it all. Right. You would agree with the Affordable Care Act? Absolutely. I, you know, I think it's nice that everyone can afford it, and everyone should be able to afford it, but to force people to pay something and then doctors to make something limiting their ability to do their job, that's kind of anti-American. Right, so Obamacare is un-American? I think it's kind of un-American to force people. What if they can't afford it? What if the they want more coverage? And the Affordable Care Act is American. I think it's more American because it allows people to make their own choices on what they want and who they want to work with. Do you agree with the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare? The Affordable. And why do you prefer the Affordable Care Act over Obamacare? I just don't agree with the whole Obamacare policy thing that's going on. I just don't agree with it. What plan do you support, Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act? The Affordable Care Act. And why do you support that over Obamacare? I do not like Obamacare. I don't like anything that has to be forced for everybody to buy. It's just not good. Do you think Obamacare is socialist? Yes, I do. Do you think the Affordable Care Act is socialist? No. Do you believe that Obamacare will eventually lead to gun prohibition? Yes. Do you know that Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act are the same thing? No, they're not. <laughs> Thanks, you made me look stupid.
It's hard to believe that 70 million Trump voters will vote against the best health care available for them because Trump and this prick say it's bad. America's health care becoming a central issue in the late days of the campaign. We will make America healthy again. I believe health care should be a right and not just a privilege of those who can afford it. House Speaker Mike Johnson telling a crowd in Pennsylvania this week, if Donald Trump wins, expect big changes. He's going to be thinking about legacy, and we're going to, we're going to fix these things. <coughs> no, no Obamacare? No Obamacare. No. <laughs> yeah, the ACA is so deeply ingrained, we need massive reform. Vice President Harris pouncing on Johnson's remarks. Be very clear that among the stakes in this election are whether we continue with the Affordable Care Act or not. Former President Trump in New Mexico Thursday saying that's not the case. She says I want to end Obamacare and take away your health care. That's a lie. We've come up with something better. That'll be great. And everybody wants that because Obamacare sort of sucks. It's too expensive for the people. Harris has campaigned on strengthening the ACA. During Trump's first term, Republicans repeatedly tried and failed to repeal it. Trump now saying he wants a less burdensome option. If we got something better, I would do it if it was less expensive. Meanwhile, two campaign sources tell NBC if Trump wins, former candidate turned Trump supporter Robert Kennedy Jr. could play a pivotal role in reform, including on the battle against chronic childhood diseases. President Trump has promised me is, um, is control of the public health agencies, which are HHS and its sub-agencies, CDC, FDA, NIH, and a few others. But health experts have criticized Kennedy's repeated debunked claims attempting to draw links between vaccines and autism, as well as fringe conspiracies on antidepressants and COVID. But these red states, they're killing people. Recently, Texas banned health departments from promoting COVID vaccines, and Florida's attorney general defied medical consensus by recommending against the vaccine. Now a district in Idaho has banned the COVID vaccine entirely. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. Look, we've come a long way from the family doctor, and that makes sense. There are over 340 million Americans and not enough doctors, nurses, medicine, and hospitals. But we're also a rich nation, and we could do better. How is it that our health care system ranks last overall among other high-income countries. Our healthcare system is underperforming not because we don't spend money, we suck because we have inadequate insurance coverage and primary care. And putting RFK Jr., whose anti-vax stance is a real and living threat to millions of lives. On the Republican side, President Biden promised the last time around that he was going to drain the swamp. Doing a, uh, an, uh, doing a, uh, 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 a... How is that even possible? Right now, bird flu cases have more than doubled in the country within a few weeks, but researchers can't determine why the spike is happening. And bird flu viruses have long been on the short list of pathogens with pandemic potential. So why am I talking about bird flu? Because it's dangerous and it's important to understand. The unprecedented spread among U.S. dairy cattle this year is alarming. The viruses have evolved to thrive within mammals. And what's the mortality rate? of bird flu? Well, the mortality death rate for bird flu in humans is over 50% for known cases worldwide. That means half the people diagnosed with bird flu will die from it. Look, we need leadership from smart people, not people who put roadkill in their refrigerators and say a worm ate their brain. The attacks against a COVID vaccine spell disaster for Americans when the next pandemic arrives. And it will. RFK Jr. proved his inability to lead by whom he chose to follow. His will he run on, HHS? You're with his views on vaccines. And Trump's announcement that RFK will run our nation's health care system proved that being early means sometimes you do get the worm, but sometimes the worm can kill you. Damn right. It's not fair. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. Suck my fat one. This is not a normal election. Who's with me? Yes. Tick tock, mother. They're eating the dogs. This isn't their Republican Party anymore. Frack. Frack, frack. Trust me. Shut the f*** up, Dan. Who's with me? Oh, yeah, the lie. Indictable. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I'm allowing this freak show to continue. I don't want to talk about this stuff. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, Am I wrong? Yes! Tick-tock! You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> I think he's crazy. I'm Chip Franklin. <laughs>